figured I'll jump in here real quick and kind of do a little story time. Um, Cause I kind of threw out there that I am a lesbian and you guys probably are like, what? You never mentioned it before? Whatever. Surprise. Okay. So in respects to everyone, beliefs, religion and whatnot, you know, I am that kind of person that I accept people for who they are. I don't judge. I don't disrespect. So I kind of expect the same from you guys. Um, since. I could remember my first liking was, you know, a girl. My first kiss was a girl. My first everything was a girl. I knew from a very young age that I am um, attracted to girls. My mom is gonna see this. Is probably gonna block me and never talk to me again. <laughs> Maybe in a few months. But anyways, you know, this is me. She already knows what it is. But let me get back to the story. Um, ever since I can remember, I knew that um, I was attracted to girls and didn't know what it was at the time or understood it. It wasn't really out like that then. And if it was, I wasn't aware. So, um, obviously, I dated boys. It was like the norm, you know? Like, it was okay, you know? I... Basically, I basically came out when I was 18. That's when I had my first um, relationship with a female. And I came out and told everyone, and you know, obviously my mom took that hard. Um, she's kind of like back and forth. There's times where she even, you know, got along with my girlfriends um, before, and it was fine. And there's times where she kind of just like distanced herself. It's hard being gay coming from a Jehovah Witness family because not just my mom is Jehovah Witness, like my whole Dominican side is. So um, a lot of them kind of are like, you know, I love you, you're my niece, but they keep me away. And it's hurtful, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's hard, but with time and growth, you kind of just accept it, it is what it is. Try not to cry. You know, because I'm a very loving person. I feel like you guys should just love me for who I am. It doesn't change who I am as a person. I know I'm a good person. I have a good heart. Everything that I do comes from a good place. But just because of that, I'm like pushed to the side. You know? The relationship with my mom has been off and on. There's times where she comes, you know, and visits and stays for a few days. And then when she leaves, you won't hear from her for like a month or so. It's like one time it was for a whole year. You know, and I'm sure it has to do because of how I am, but also she's dealing with her own demons, her own stuff, so she kind of, she closes herself off a lot, and I'm respectful, you know, even if it hurts or whatnot, there's times where she even, I say, throw the Bible at me, she's always like saying stuff like, oh, you know, I don't want to say what she says because I don't want you guys to like get upset or whatnot, because this is not the intent of this video, this is not... You know, that's not what I'm trying to do. Have you guys like come at her. Um, she, I love her. Mommy, I love you. Don't get upset because I'm making this video. My Puerto Rican side of the family, you know, they were more accepting. Though I'm not close with them either. I'm not really close with a lot of my family members, guys. And my Puerto Rican side is like huge. My dad's side, I mean, not just my Puerto Rican side. My dad's side, um, I don't have a relationship with my dad either. Dad, everything. I don't, I don't, I'm trying not to like be everywhere. It's kind of hard for me to uh, tell a story and not be everywhere, you know? So, um, my main thing is just telling you guys like how I came out and how it affected me relationship wise with my mom, you know? So for the times that she is around, I take it in, I do stuff, I take pictures. I'm like a big kid, you know? Um, so we have to take advantage. She's here today and we're gonna be doing stuff. So I just kinda wanna show you this side of me, you know? Um, for you, whoever is struggling on coming out, I mean, if you're a teen and you live at home, it's kinda harder, because if they don't accept you, I know there's situations where they got you kicked out and whatnot. I don't know what to advise you on that. My advice, in my opinion, is come out when you have your own shit. Cause that's one thing about me, I've been on my own since I was 13, you know? So when I came out, 
I wasn't living with my mom. I can't get kicked out, like, you know what I mean? And where I was living, I was accepted. So definitely my advice would be like, come out, if you're at home, come out um, when you have your own place, especially if you know your parents are religions. Come out when, yeah, you have your own place because you don't want to end up kicking, getting kicked out or anything like that. Um, if you know that your family is accepting and you just scared, do it, do it. You know, cause you're gonna need that support. If life is hard as it is. Imagine life being hard and you hiding who you really are. You don't wanna do that. And my hair stands up saying that guys, like you have no idea. Be your true self. That's the only way you're gonna be truly and genuinely whole and happy. Be yourself. Don't be afraid to stand up for what you believe in. That's one thing about me. Like mainly it's cause I risk myself, you know, I'm strong minded. No one can tell me anything. Like, I'm going to be who I am. Like, I'm self-made. I raised myself. Yes, to help with the system, you know. But be who you are. Be proud. So I do stand for the LGBTQ community. And I'm proud of it. And whoever is judgy and whoever doesn't accept me and doesn't like me, I apologize. And you can unsubscribe. You know, if you don't support me as a whole, as my whole self, there's not much I can do about it. So I just wanted to send this message out, guys. It's very personal, very transparent, very hard, and it's hard to hold back the tears because you guys just don't know how hard it really is. Especially when you want, when you want your parents around, you know? And it just can't happen just because of your lifestyle. But that's okay. You know, like I said, I don't, I don't hold grudges. I love her. I love you. I'm looking at you and I'm telling you that I love you. No matter what, you know, that's how much I love myself. If, you know, whoever doesn't want to be around and whoever like doesn't accept, then there's not much you can really do about it. So, I'm going to end this here because I don't know where it went. It just went left. This is not supposed to happen. I just want to say that I love you guys. Let me get a tissue, guys. I just want to say that I love you guys. And I want to thank you guys for supporting me. And if there's any moms out there, parents, family members, whoever, if anybody comes out to you, if you have a child, a cousin, a niece that comes out to you, be supportive. Tell them you love them. Tell them it's okay. Whether your religion or what, whatever your religion is, like, be supportive. Tell them you love them. Stand by them. You know? They're gonna need that. They need that. I'm glad that I'm as strong as I am because I probably would have fallen apart. You know, being told that you're going to hell or you're not obeying by God's rule or, you know, all the, you're a waste, you're too beautiful. So many things I've heard from so many people. Those words hurt. We carry those words, you know. For the most part, I don't let it affect me. But it's still there. So my advice to whoever's coming out to you, be supportive, love them. They already know what your religion is. They already know what your belief is. They already know deep down inside what you're really thinking. For you guys to actually say it and over and over and over again, that's gonna do damage. The last thing you wanna do is drive someone to depression. And from depression, to having suicidal thoughts and from having suicidal thoughts to actually turning it into actions. That's the last thing you guys want to do. Trust me. Um, and it's crazy that I'm making this video because it's June, it's month, it's a pride. It's pride month, guys. So yes, it's pride month. I should have worn like a rainbow shirt. Like I have a whole setup. But anyways, this was like just out the blue. This is genuine. I wasn't ready for this. I just said, let me just make this video. So this is my true self, guys. Snaps and all. 
Okay. Um, I love you. I'm gonna go enjoy my day. Life is short. Live it to the fullest. And let's just all be one and respect and love one another. That's all we can do. Anything else and everything else, leave it up to him. He's the only one that can judge us. But all right, guys, I am done here. I'm gonna go. Uh, this I need to usa now and kind of bring out my positive vibe. This was kind of it was it's good. It feels good to leave this out, guys. You have no idea. This feels awesome. But I'm gonna go enjoy my kids and my mom because she's here. Since she's here, before she leaves, she's actually leaving today, guys. All right, bye, guys. Cause I could I could talk for days. Bye.